Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Review for today, Thursday, the 24th of November, 2022. I'm Ken the Magic Odumi. Open Heaven's is authored by Daddy in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heaven's is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Our Father, we want to say thank you for a beautiful day. Thank you for another opportunity to be counted among the living. We say, be thou exalted, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that as we learn at your feet today, that you will teach us. You draw us closer to you through your word, and the power in your word will do wonders in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic for today is try praise. Try praise. And our memory verse is taken from the book of Second Chronicles 20, verse 22. And when they began to sing and to praise the Lord, the Lord sent ambushment against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mosiah, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. Our Bible reading is taken from the same Second Chronicles 20, verse 22 to 27. Second Chronicles 20, verse 22 to 27. I read. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord sent ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mosea, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. For the Lord of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mosea, utterly to slay and to destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another. And when Judah came toward the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, they were dead bodies falling to the earth, and one es- and none escaped. And when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance both riches with the dead, with the dead bodies and precious jewels, which they stripped off from themselves, more than they could carry away, and they were. Three days in gathering of the spoil, it was so much. And on the fourth day, they assembled themselves in the valley of Beraka. For there they blessed the Lord. Therefore, the name of the same place was called the, the valley of Beraka unto this day. Then they returned every man to Judah and Jerusalem and Jehoshaphat in the forefront of them to go again to Jerusalem with joy. But the Lord had made them to rejoice over their enemies. May the Lord bless the reading of his words in Jesus' name. Amen. The message. A pastor in the redeemed Christian church of God shared the testimony of a miracle God performed, a miracle God performed during a wedding in one of our parishes. Just as the bridegroom was about to sign the register, he heard someone call his name. And as he answered, he fell and died. All the pastors in the regist- in the vestry immediately gathered and began to pray for him. But the longer they prayed, the colder he became. The most senior pastor among them then remembered that I had taught them often to try praise whenever prayer seems to be failing. With a short time of praising God, the bridegroom came back to life. The people of Judah had only started to praise God when he set an ambush against their enemies. The enemies that were coming to trouble King Jehoshaphat and his people were numerous in numbers. But the Bible says in 2 Chronicles 20 verse 22, and when they began to sing and praise the Lord, and praise, the Lord sent ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mosea, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. The people of Judah had been praying, but nothing had happened. Now, instead of going against the enemy with physical weapons of war like swords, spears, and shields, they came against them with a weapon of praise. If I stand before the gate of heaven and the angels refuse to open them to me, God forbid, I will start to praise God. I know that before I have called God all the beautiful names I know him to have, he will tell one of his angels to open the gate for me. Praise opens doors that even prayer may not have been able to open. If you have been praying about something and you are yet to receive your request, try praise today. When you praise God, he will surely respond. 
Joshua and the army of Israel used praise to pull down the walls of Jericho in Joshua 6 verse 20. If you have been praying for so long about a matter, try praise now and you would be surprised at the wonderful results God Almighty will give to you. Try praise. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. The topic once more is try praise. Try praise. Our dad in the Lord is speaking to us through the help of the Holy Spirit today that we should try praise. You know, especially when it seems like prayer is failing us, then we should try praise. And he gave different accounts of people in the Bible that tried praise and we could see how it worked for them. An example is a Bible reading we read today, you know, of King Jehoshaphat and his people. You know, for King Jehoshaphat and his people, there were numerous people that were against them. The people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount, and of Seir. You know, and what did they do? After they had prayed, like Daddy said, that people of Judah had been praying, but nothing had happened. But instead, they decided to pray. They decided to, you know, to use their weapon of praise rather than using swords, spears, shields, bow, and what have you. And in using the weapon of praise, the Lord fought their battles for them. If you look at what the Bible we read today, the Lord fought their battles for them. That not only did the Lord send ambushment against their enemies, but they also took spoil of their enemies. Praise to the Lord. They took spoils of their enemy. The spoils were so much that it took them three days. And the word of God says, and they were three days in gathering of the spoil. Because it was so much. Can somebody praise the Lord? Hallelujah. We are also told of the account of that man, of that groom that died on his wedding day. You know, he had a name. He had his name and he fell and he died. You know, the pastors prayed and prayed and prayed for him. It was looking as if the prayer was not effective. But when and when that the most senior pastor there remembered the word that our that in the Lord has spoken that whenever prayer that he said he remembered that whenever he remembered that whenever prayer seems to be failing that they should try praise and he did when they tried praise praise did not f- fail them like our daddy has said that those doors that might be difficult you know that prayer has not been able to open that those doors, when we when we try praise, those doors will be open. And that is a praise opens door that even prayer may not have been able to open. So maybe there's a particular situation of your life. You have fasted, you have prayed, you have given arms and all that. It is time for you to praise the Lord. It is time for you to praise God and and you know decree of how mighty, how powerful He is. Of his wondrous works of what he has done in the past of what he has done for your life of what he has the capacity to do and even of what he is going to do why don't you thank him in advance of what he is going to do like the illustration our guardian the lord gave in showing us how effective praise can be even over prayer he said for adventure you are standing at the gate and you want the angels to open a certain door and they are not opening that when you will begin to praise the Lord, giving him the names all the that by the time he gives praise the Lord, calling him all the names that he ever knew him to be. You know, before you know it, the Lord would have said, Oh, yeah, come, go and open the door. He would have sent his angels that go and open the door for that particular boy. Ask him what he wants from me. You know, when you praise the God, the word of God says, our God dwells where praises he. He inhabits the praise of his people. Praise the Lord. Our God inhabits the praise of the people. God will surely respond to praises of his children. And I pray in the name of Jesus that for you and I, the Lord will respond to our praises. That where prayer seems to be failing us, and as we start to praise the name of the Lord, that the Lord will hearken to our prayers and he will grant every of our heart desires in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. We're also told of the account of how the children of Israel 
how they through praises they were able that the wall of Jericho was able to fall down. You know, what is that barrier? What is that stumbling block that you are seeing? You know, that is not allowing you to move to the next level. Why don't you try praise? Are there people that have gathered against you? They've spoken ill about you. Try praise. Praise the Lord today concerning that situation. And watch how God will use your enemies to destroy themselves. And not only will they destroy themselves, you will take spoil over them in the mighty name of Jesus. Just like our daddy has concluded, he said, if you have been praying for so long about the matter, try praise now and you will be surprised at the wonderful results God Almighty will give you. The Lord will surprise you and I mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. The action point. What is the matter you have been struggling with? Start praising God over it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for being part of the review for today. God bless you. Amen.